Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode, we optimized the line a bit. We created this huge circle line, this one, and uh, we created two different lines running across them in both directions. And uh, since then, with the optimizations we've done in the previous episode, I'm happy to say they're now earning around 10 million in total. Yeah, so our real money makers now. Uh, in this episode though, I wanted to maybe optimize them a bit or maybe wait for a little and then let's improve and let's see how the passenger situation is looking. If they're filling up, if they're uh, too much, if we can maybe streamline, do some cost savings and whatnot. We'll do that in a bit, but before all that, I'm seeing the demand on the buses is actually increasing. That's a good sign. That means we can increase our buses, increase the income overall because there's more passengers. There are more passengers to bring in. I got a nice comment in the previous episode though. Thank you for that. Thank you for all the comments and suggestions. Um, so if you remember, we have this line from Spring Wolf to Clearden. This one with the bend, with that beautiful flyover and the bending uh, tracks beautiful scenery so I created these trains for it these uh, multiple unit trains that have 64 passengers they're not really filling up though so in terms of money are you earning anything? You're actually still losing money now that costs um, 1.59 million a year each train now I'm thinking now the suggestion was to, instead of having those trains in, maybe we could make this a scenic route. Maybe have a steam train in there. And it's a good thing because we have that mod which doesn't phase out old trains. So that means if you go to the vehicle, the train depot, actually all locals are still here. Coming all the way from an 1850 local, look at that. And we do have these uh, vintage lines existing in the real world right for a more scenic route not not for efficiency but more for like tourism so why not try it in this line what i'm thinking let me try and compute this so running cost is 1.59 million a year if we change this let's try to do some math here not my strongest suit but we'll have to do it now I was like looking for steam locos and um, I didn't want to go so slow because when I was looking at these trains, the, these uh, current trains that we have, they were running at top speed of 125 kilometers per hour. So they were able to max it out for a couple of seconds. So I don't think something too slow will be very efficient. So I want uh, a scenic, a very nice train, a very nice steam train, but I don't want it very slow. So I think I'll go and get a 120 km per hour train if, if possible. And I think I have the perfect train for that. That's the Flying Scotsman. Why not? Now the Flying Scotsman has a running cost of 693k per year. So let's close it to 700k. And if we get around the two wagons, which is like the BC4, so 700 uh, 860 1k so around 1 million a year will be limiting the passengers from 64 down to 40 but then again they're not really always full like this train for example that's only 42 so I don't think that's going to be a problem so much let's see 64 although now I think uh, the demand is hyping up mm -hmm -hmm. let me see if demand is if you're going to fill up demand then that should make you earn some money shouldn't it anyway let's try it first let's have it at uh, two wagons and then let's improve it later if needed so let's go and get a uh, flying scotsman i know a lot of you guys like this very iconic train and let's get a bc4 so we can maximize utilize that 120 km per hour top speed Add two of those and then let's try that first you gain actually we, we earn money when we change it why not let's go and check it out is there something that will be docking soon it's this guy all right 
Uh, actually, he just left. Alright, fine. Next time. Uh, we do have three trains in the line. This one is arriving. Perfect. This makes me a good photo op as well. Maybe I can take a photo somewhere. Let's face here first. Yeah, this one would be a nice shot. Hmm. Train is full though. Come on. There we go. A much smaller train. A much more scenic train though. Yeah. Not that bad. Although the the catenaries are ruining the picture a bit. Because they don't really need that for this line. We can always turn it off but... I'm thinking we should future proof it. I don't know. Either way would be fine. Yeah, let's... Go and take a photo of this guy. A vintage line in a modern setting. Why not? Fill you up. See? 29 people only. Oh yeah. Now oh, that's awesome. Recently over the Discord server, Bricks from the Pro Mods team in ETS2. He was sharing a lot of pics. He was uh, having a vacation, I guess, and he was sharing pics from trains like these, like steam trains, having a very scenic route, and then going atop a lighthouse and things like that. It's super cool. I wish we had these kinds of train lines where I'm from. But in Asia, it's not really so much. Trains are not very popular in Asia, unfortunately. It's more of a thing in Europe and in the US, maybe. Yeah, I definitely like that one. Actually, you know what? Let's maybe take a photo over here. Uh, maybe over here. And I, I think our train is running almost... Okay, yeah, it's, it's speeding up, definitely. It's accelerating just fine now. Oh, look at that steam. Yeah, you cannot take a picture of a train without its steam. That would ruin the appeal let's go with that really love this photo mode if you guys don't know how this works you have to turn on developer mode in the options for that to appear for that camera icon to appear it looks super good though yep 120 just enough yeah so maxing it out for a few seconds so it Theoretically, he could go faster a bit, but I don't think it would matter that much. Yeah, it's, a sh it's a very short line, and I think 120 is just perfect. And then here, there are 33 people, so he'll be able to pick up all of them. So maybe some leftover people, but I don't think it should matter that much. Yeah, it's better to leave some passengers in, as long as the trains are always full. Maybe in reality that's not a very good idea, but in terms of transport fever mechanics, I'd say that's pretty good. That's good for the business. Okay, so what can we improve? Look at this counterclockwise line. Where are you people all going? All going to Springwell. 91. Springwell is this. Okay, so we need a train here that guy but that guy is full hmm. that might be a signal that we need more trains on the line still earning around 10 11 million almost 12 that's cool so dropping off some people actually dropping off a lot of people and then picking up a lot as well like half of them that's nice okay I'll take that. In the meantime here, train is full and there's 17 people waiting. Okay, that's not it's not too bad. Okay, let's leave it there. Let's leave it for a while and see if people pile up. If people will, uh, if we'll need to add more later on. Right, in the meantime, let's go and take a look at the situation of our feeder lines. We do have trams here. Uh, the trams seem to be all full though, based on the waiting passengers. Yep, 
All right, so we'll need more crams. Maybe we'll add, um, let's see, how many? 20, 28, 36, 13, 25. Maybe let's add two crams on each line. And I guess these are, what are you guys? Don't even know. Toronto CRLV, all right. Toronto, one, two. Add you. And one, two. Add you. Actually, I can get a newer line, a newer tram, can't I? But maybe I should have. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's leave it as is for now. Okay, let's wait for that. Here, I think we could do with more buses as well. Yeah, seems like people are liking the buses. Yeah, I remember these bus, these buses. These these are the are lifesavers. The new flyers. Let's add, um, I don't know, maybe two each as well. It's more like hit and miss at this point. Trial and error. Okay. Why is that? What is that? Okay, Lockwin. It should be Lockwin. Lockwin. Go forth. And this one as well. Looks like we would need a couple of passengers more here. Especially in this area. Yeah, let's do that. Let's add two more buses. And I noticed that I didn't really add any. Uh, one sec. Didn't really make any bus lines here, so I hope traffic is not a factor. Yeah, have a look. Look at all the people waiting there. Crap. In real life, if you see something like that, that's not very good transportation planning what is this these trucks yeah, just auto replace should be fine good okay so did I just did I add already two yeah I added two for both lines good uh, traffic there is a traffic tool we can use since the last gameplay update Nothing really bad about traffic. There's a little build up there, but no, we're good. I don't think I need it. Alright. Next up, the newest city that we had, Deep Castle. And it looks like people are piling up too. And uh, I remember, they didn't have a line here. Maybe I should have even just one direction like that. Just to uh, add to it. Now here, I think we'll do with two more buses each side as well. So let's go with that approach. One, two. I hope I'm not too overdoing this. There we go. And then add a circle line here. Um, let's see. A new line that would go, let's say, counterclockwise, I think would be better. Actually, either way should work. All right, so let's add some bus stops just so we cover the entire city. Use it. It's kind of uh, unfair, right? <laughs> unfair seeing that. So at least the people here, they'll have a bus, and then maybe they'll drop here, cross the road, and take the other tr bus to reach the train station. So it's not a direct route, but it should be better than nothing. All right, so let's add something here. And maybe this spot. And uh, one more, I guess, over here. Yeah? I think that works. And then make it make it like a circle. Or we can actually... Hmm. Do we need to go the entire way? I don't think so. Yeah, let's just make this uh, like a circle. So if we create a line... That's going from here and then just circling back all the way through. Now we don't have a bus in here though in the middle, but I think they can walk a little. <laughs> Shouldn't hurt that much. Okay, that's good. And then we add maybe, I don't know, two buses in there. That should be good enough. And uh, let's stick with the new flyer approach. Line one. Let's say bus deep residential. Good. 
Yeah, I think that works. Hopefully. We'll see later on if it does, really. Alright. In here, going back to Wolfstone. Now, I did have, I did notice a huge problem and uh, yeah, Jesse also pointed it out. This massive build up here. 516 on one end, 485 on the other. And we still have these tiny trains taking the construction materials. What I find weird though is if you see the one going to Wolfstone, it's 407 and counting 410 plus 84. So that's around 500 con mats going only to Wolfstone because there's only one, one city that that line is going to. So it needs around 500 in Wolfstone. But if you look at Wolfstone, the con mats is pretty good. It's 85%. So it's only missing what? 50? Around 50 con mats. So I'm not sure where you would take all those 500 con mats if Wolfstone is already pretty happy. Yeah, we don't really have a, a, a bus, a truck line going anywhere else. So I'm thinking if I upgrade my train, eventually it will either run out and not deliver that because it doesn't need it. So I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I. I'm, I'm tempted to upgrade the train just for the sake of clearing out the backlog here, but is it really a backlog? That's the question. 450 con mats going to a place which only needs 326. I mean, where is the logic in that? That might have been like a backlog from because we can't fulfill everything. Like right now we are missing 50. So maybe we're missing 50 now. Later on, we're missing 50 again, and then 50, and then 50. Maybe all those backlogs are just piling up here, but doesn't mean that we have to deliver all of them. I, I don't know, it seems a bit weird, that logic. So, right now, I probably won't touch it in the meantime, because Wolfstone is pretty happy with the, the supply for con mats. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave it there. So let me know if you have any other suggestions for that. But I think it doesn't look nice for sure, but we'll leave it. On the other side though, the one going north. If we go north here, um, and if we look at the supply situation for Old Ash, Conmat is really good. 30. 309, 30 uh, backlog or 30 missing that's pretty good and this one is good as well like what 70 no no 90 missing mm, not too good but not too bad either what i find weird about this line though is we never earn money so we can improve that a bit the north line for sure yeah what i find weird is we have these three trains that are always at capacity yeah but then again they never earn money if you look at the finances here yes they're losing 189 m 88k to 62k so i mean if you're always full what reason would you have to not earn money right if you're uh, always at your so unless there's like traffic up ahead which causes them to slow down and uh, not maximize the speed Speed. I don't see a problem why they would not earn money at all. So maybe it's the, the, the multi-leg trip. Because right now what's happening is they have this very long route from here. They drop off stuff here. And then they drop off stuff here. And then they drop off stuff there. Maybe those that multi-legged approach doesn't work. Maybe we should make it more like a hub system where, okay, from here, they drop things off. Maybe, for example, this station. And then from this station, they go back already. And then from this station, something else, a different line would take it from here to the other city. And from here to, to this city. Maybe that's how it should work. Not really sure. But it might be a viable solution. Maybe, maybe all the stops is creating a lag. Creating a, yeah, like for example, here. They have to stop here and that means they lose a bit of time because they have to stop unload and then go again from zero start again from zero with their speed so maybe that delay is causing a bit of causing the problem 
So what I'll do is I'll try something very uh, unorthodox. Hmm, and I'm wondering if I should do it. I'm thinking, let's just make one stop for these trains and only stop here. And then go back. And then from here, we can maybe... Would the train be better or a bus? But let's try it. That might be the thing. That might be the thing. From here, then they can go there and. <laughs> that might just work. I would have preferred to drop off stuff here because it's shorter. But if you drop off stuff here, this is a passenger train station, so you can't. Trains can't really pick up other stuff. Trains can't really pick up uh, goods from this station. So we'll need to create a new station, and that just might be too much. That might be too much. So yeah, let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah, but how about the food line? Is the food line earning anything? Also, the food line is having problems because probably because of that multiple stop problem as well. So maybe we drop off stuff here and then another line could take all of that and bring it here because now we have these, uh, where was it? I need the depot. We have these wagons that, oh yeah, I removed all of them. Crap. Okay, let's start in the beginning here. If I look at the wagons, we do have these multiple, uh, these beautiful modded wagons. Shebanbagon. Shebibanbagon. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. But yes, this can take on mats, this can take food, this can take grain and goods. So everything. Wow, dual stock strain. We should get into that eventually, but we don't have enough money yet. We're still pretty poor. And then I think a huge bottleneck on the income is that the freight situation is not optimized so before we move on to a new area i would like to improve this i would like to really change this all right so let me see um 656 okay the north line is what we'll be focusing on we will change this we will say you stop only here and then there will be a new train that will take things there okay does that work? Okay, is there traffic? There is traffic. But if we remove that, yeah, that should work technically. That should technically work. Okay, let's say we have a full train that looks like this, maybe. Create one train that looks exactly like that, or we can make it we can make it like a full sized, a full length train, 320 meters or even longer if you want. And then we can say, yeah, go for it. All right, let's do that. Let's go and uh, start from the depot here. And then it will travel all the way there. It's fine. It will reach that place anyway. Not really. Not really. I think we'll have to create a depot from here, uh, the train from here. And then it will travel all the way to that place. That should be good enough. Alright, so let's see. First is the logo. What kind of logo do we want? I want a diesel one. We can go with the MD SD42 again. But that, I think, 105 kilometers per hour might be a bit slow. Well, that one looks pretty good. GEC40 B8W. Man, I should really play some train simulator, huh? 120, no, not that one. 160, no. We go only top speed of 120 because uh, our wagons can only take it to 120 anyway. These guys here, yeah, these guys can only go up to 120, so it doesn't make sense to get a faster train. If we consider like electric trains, let's go for, let's see for a 120, it's 140. 125 usually the electric trains are pretty weak in terms of torque though i mean i don't think they can beat diesel except the very high end trains like this one or that one 
334. If I look at diesel, oh, it's also almost the same. But this one looks pretty nice. Yeah, this is a bit faster. Uh, can you get something more decent? That one is 120. But 200 kilonewtons? Probably not a good idea. This one is 483. Okay, let's get this one. Alright, let's get that one. Let's get wagons that are pretty cool looking. To match that pretty cool looking train. You can have different ones even, like mix it up. That's what I did before, I remember. So we can go and mix this up. All of these are pretty much the same anyway. So let's go with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I have no clue what's happening because it's hiding behind. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. I'm just waiting until... That's 320 meters for... Okay, that's that's the limit. And that might be a bit too much for this train, but we'll see. We will see. And we'll need a new line for you. You will start from... Uh, this place. Huh. To... This place. Okay. So you'll... you'll Hmm, I do not like what it's doing there. Not liking that at all. Wait a minute. Okay, so from here, I want you to be able to... Okay, I guess that works here. No, no. I want you here on platform... Let's see. Platform 2, eh? Platform is what where I want you that way yeah perfect and from there you go here and then going back ah because I don't have a connect I don't have a connect oh I do I do actually all right wait, wait a minute okay okay what happened come on we can do this so this line should be able to go from Okay, I see, I see. Because I need to stop, I need to connect here. So maybe, let's create a very slow, very small connection. Oh, don't even think of... No, 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 don't even think of that. Is that good? You're connected? Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> Come on. Too much curvature. Alright. Step too short. That way. That's the one. Perfect. Okay, so now you should be able to work just fine. That new line. That new line is yes, perfect. Alright, so it's using both both tracks, one for each direction, and then it's going back the same way. That's perfect. Now we need something here from this side connecting to that one. Something like this. Maybe like that. And we'll probably need signals. I forgot to put some signals in. Um, like this would need the signal right before that. Yes. Going there. Okay. Yeah. True. And then here, and if you're not getting what I'm doing, just wait a sec, I'll explain. No problemo. I think that part we can actually remove already. Yeah, we should be able to remove this one, but no, let's not in the meantime. Because where's our train? There's our longest train ever. At least for this series. Look at that. Going at it in full speed. Beautiful. That's the longest train we have, I think. Okay, so anyway, um, what I want to change is that uh, these trains, the conmat and the food, will change the routing, the routing, routing, or however. It <laughs> yeah. So we say, don't stop there. Just, although it would be a bit counterintuitive, huh? 
let's try something a bit mm, yeah because I only I want them to only have one stop so maybe I can take food there and then we can take it by truck going back probably won't be efficient but maybe it will be it will give us more money because distance wise if we take con mats to that place and then a truck takes it back the other direction again going back a bit that's double the income so i think in terms of money that should be good so let's go with that right so let's remove spring well let's remove old dash and then let's add this one perfect yeah that's what i want so just two stops now this one northwest food dash northwest food old dash let's do the same thing you're coming from the food factory you go and don't stop here okay let's stop let's stop that actually you know what delete everything except stop number three so directly from the factory from the producing plant going to the freight train station and then going back exactly yeah all right that should be good that should be good and the problem right now is there would be no old dash line anymore i mean there would be nothing going to old dash so we have to fix that first before we proceed so we can actually have like a truck station here or a truck station here yeah let's go to the truck station uh, freight let's go and get this guy can we is it in catchment okay it's catch it's, in, it's still in catchment after the railroads so that means that's perfect because we don't need to upgrade or we don't need to make this into a bridge or anything because the trucks will never cross that that's perfect let's make this large uh, large country road for a 100 kilometer speed limit that one yeah that's good wait a minute is that large no 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 what did i do i added like catenary i think my bad it should be this key good and good and then when you enter that's perfect all right in terms of the line if nothing will be dropping off stuff here then we don't need really any trucks going to that place right so in terms of trucks wow you guys are old um maybe we should change you huh all right so instead of coming from central you come from this station and then we remove that central thing good and then we upgrade you in the process let's go and get some mans for you your commercial so maybe what's a good commercial truck maybe that works because it's green anyway that might be expensive we'll see if it's efficient good and the other line is this one okay these are new at least and then we'll uh, change that as well get from here and drop off that way perfect so that is becoming a very uh, important line so let's have a look at the transfer here this one is going there this one is going there perfect and uh, that's everything in catchment more or less should be should be should be good okay all right so we didn't need any new buses or any new trucks yet should be fine that should improve the layout dramatically uh, let's have a look here all right as expected we're not really using this bit of road anymore this bit of track but i won't delete it anyway because we might create another direction here in the future right let's see let's see how that works now this is a more direct approach where's our train where's our long train oh it's there good now i hope i did the right thing okay because it's actually going past the station it's not carrying anything but going back 
Okay, good. Because the, the crossing is still here. The switch is still here, so it can turn around and it can cross. No problem, even if it's longer than the station. Perfect. I'm glad I was able to think of that beforehand. Man, this looks pretty good, huh? That guy looks pretty. Bro. I think I'll take that as a photo. That's a good thumbnail for this episode. It's a very nice train, huh? Is that a famous train, guys? Do you know? Alright, so... I shouldn't see any other train anymore going that way except for our new line. Okay. And our new line should be able to take in everything. I hope I just didn't, I didn't just destroy our industries. It will be negative for sure, but just temporary. Old Dash, uh, train northwest, Old Dash to Springwell. Old Dash, uh, hub to Springwell, let's say. Okay, let's make this as the hub. So we drop off stuff here. Oh crap, nothing. Wait a minute. Did I just destroy it? Um, ah, crap. I, I, okay, I, I have a mistake here. This will not work because it is in catchment here, but it, this is not the focus. It has to be in catchment, and you probably caught this. It has to be in catchment of this train station because the stuff will be unloading from here. Fine. So let's uh, move that place. Let's move it somewhere closer. Okay, that's not enough still. Crap, I think we have to really maybe even use this one. What I hate about using this station is we'll have to go through that tiny road there. And it's only... Hmm. Can we have a smaller station? Like a single one? Small city? Yeah, that one. Because what I'm planning is... You guys... You guys... Drop off stuff. They're all dropping off stuff anyway. These trucks... Uh, you stop there instead. Remove that other one. And you stop there instead. Remove that other one yes okay good so now we have two extra loading points so we can actually move these two guys here so, but they'll have to go through a very narrow road and uh, we'll see how that goes but at least they'll be in catchment of the train now the train station my bad i missed that and if you were shouting at the screen telling me that i'm using the wrong catchment really sorry <laughs> but good catch good catch you can just Imagine it like I heard you. Right, and remove that thing. Good. And let's delete that thing. And delete that thing. Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, and let's try to upgrade the roads as much as we can. I'm not sure if this is upgradable, but too much slope. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Of course. Let's delete the road. Actually. No, no. Just delete that small piece there. Oh, come on. Is that gonna get the whole thing deleted? I hate that. There should be something possible here. There we go. Okay. So. Oh, crap. You're stuck. Back there. Push it back. Push it back. And make this a beautiful bridge or underpass, whatever it takes. Uh, first and foremost, let's upgrade this bit. Okay, of course that won't work. This will work. Okay, so at least we have that. And then let's make a bridge here. Maybe go up. There, perfect. Perfect, I like it. okay with that good so now they should be unimpeded by the trains crossing this part okay and they should be in catchment only the bottleneck would be this part here we could in theory 
move the tracks like cross them like that since yeah we could because you can see we're not really using these two parts anymore so we can actually delete them huh yeah is it is it a good idea yes we should we should delete them so that might be enough space already i hope let's see let's delete one more yeah that should be enough i think Okay, maybe not let's delete this road i hope i can still make something here and i uh, hope i'm not destroying it completely ugliest landscaping ever good let's make that uh, where where the heck am i connecting whoa oh i, I should connect to this um Okay, nothing's possible. That's a bit weird. Delete that then. So let's do this. Delete that small thing as well. Oh wow. Okay, this is not going pretty well. How the heck am I going to connect there if you don't let me? Ooh, 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 ooh. And where is the connection point here? It's gone. Super weird. Right, one sec. If we start with this, this one. And do that. Okay, we can connect here. Weirdest thing ever. Mm, I might have done a big boo boo here. Oof, 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 oof. Let me see. Can you delete this part as well? You we should be able to, right? Yeah, let's let's do that. I think I think this part needs some space. All right, so doing that. Actually, we don't need to connect them, do we? Yeah, because the trucks here will only go up to that point. The trucks here will only start from this point. So yeah, we don't really need to connect them. So I can just make it like that. Okay, that's going to hit it. How the heck am I gonna make this work? Can I make a bridge somehow? Okay, that works. But, oh no, barely. Collision, that one works. Making a bridge out of that. And then connecting it like so. Kind of. Okay, now it doesn't work. It worked a while ago. Okay, it was too low. I see. So I can have like a bridge going over the, the establishment like that. But would it work? I guess that could work technically, but I don't really like that bridge happening there. I like that better. Let's try to make it a bit more uh, aesthetically pleasing. Collision. Okay, we're getting collision here in this part. If I make you like a tunnel, will it work? I doubt. Oh, there, that works. Okay, we can make a tunnel, maybe. So like a tunnel there and tunnel here. Yeah, I, I'm okay with that, I think. One sec, one sec. There. That work. And then delete that bit there. We need to connect to this road still. Let's not forget that later on. Uh, let's delete that. And connect from here. There we go. Hmm. It's a bit messy, huh? Going down and then going up. We can probably go a bit further. Like here. Maybe. And then crossing over. 
collision. It's going to be a very high bridge. Let's go back one more step. That should be more or less in the middle. That one works. It's a bit expensive, but it's very pleasing to the eyes. Let's go with that. Yeah, that at least is consistent. Three tunnels. Yeah, avoiding the things. Right, can I just make a, a track here? Is it still possible? It is. Because I, I, I kind of like how it looks, even if it's not for anything. But here, I don't think I can make it. Yeah, okay. Oof. That's kind of a shame. Then maybe let's just drag it over until it works. Okay. Let's drag it to that point. At least it looks kind of nice. There. Yeah? <laughs> um, no comment. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. We have to connect this there. I forgot. But if we have a tunnel, then that won't work. Maybe we can still make it work. One sec. Not too much though. Crap. Oh, there. Okay, that works. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. That actually looks pretty nice. Double tunnel. Let's just even this out, make it a bit... Uh, bit more presentable it looks pretty good actually hello what oh, do you see the signs why is there yeah, there are signs there and it's nice that we can see under the tunnel now seeing those intersections it's pretty cool all right so this should be in theory this one should be connected there this one oh no we still need to connect here because uh this one cannot do a drop off if it's not connected to the crap Okay, are you connected now? Yes, you are. <laughs> Just for the sake of having a road there. Let's try to upgrade it. So it doesn't look that crappy. There we go, all right, now it works. It's not perfect, but it works. You guys good? Okay, why are you all turning around? Let's figure it out eventually, it's fine. I hope that's not bugged. Oh, that's not bugged. That guy was able to go through. I just need some more time to adjust and uh, realize their situation. Just clean that up. High brush strength. Okay, let's see. Do we have any con mats? A little. A little is enough. Just to start. Alright, so this guy should be stopping here. Actually... It'll be just in time. The train is leaving and now we can go straight. Perfect. Beep beep. Wow, time flies when you're having fun, huh? Hopefully you guys are not pulling your hair out because of the mishaps, the, the misses. But I think it's going to work all in all eventually, in the long run. 14 con mats, yeah, that's the one. Let's look at the others. So they're not stopping here anymore. That should save them a bit of time. There we go, 73 food. That's all going to the hub. And from the hub, it's going to be taken either by the trucks or by that train that we have. Now let's see if that will give a bit of income to our lines. There's, so there's, there's a bit of con mats in there going to this line, I hope. Where are you? Where are the con mats? There, on the left leftmost part. Good. Okay, and uh, the next train is arriving, carrying 73 food. That's perfect. And then the next one is... Why are you stopping? Stop. Lockwin Sawmill. What's happening? Are you full or something? Try to ship more items. Um, what's the problem here? Okay, maybe it lost, uh... oh, it's losing money. It's been losing money. What the heck? Wait, 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 wait. Details. Yeah, no potential for so many. Did I destroy a line? Did I just destroy a line? Um, let's see. 
the train is still going there. That's good. And the, this thing still needs goods. Is that... Ah, the question is... Ah, okay, okay. I see. I didn't connect this one. My bad. Uh-huh. It's not very good. Okay, yeah. I, st I missed a thing. I know. That's pretty bad of me. So if I can do that, I can connect you like that. Should be okay, right? If you're in range, you're not in range anymore. Oh my goodness. You're not in range anymore? Is that true? No, you are in range. You are in range. So you are in range of this one. Yes? Good? Good. Now you should be happy again. Alright, thank you for letting me know. This is the one carrying 73 food. This guy is carrying... Okay, con mats are increasing 57 now. So the demand is coming back up. And they're determining, they're discovering the new line again. That really looks kind of ugly, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> Can I remodel that? I, I can't just accept that kind of ugliness. I have to try something. Yeah, but it's really curving like that. It's weird. Maybe if I do it manually like that and then connect it like... Okay, it doesn't work. If I do it like a little... It's not curving. Oh, it needs to go curve that way. I want if I start on this side. Okay, if I start like... Maybe we keep it small. Yeah, let's keep it small. That looks better. So it's not too awkward. Just a, just a bit. <laughs> Man. Okay, good. So now, <clears throat> the train... Have you taken anything yet? Okay, 16 goods. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Alright, wait a minute. What? Still complaining? No, it should be connected now. You should be connected now. I'll keep my eye on you. Let's wait till March. That should get fixed by March. March, still nothing. Okay, I'm missing something here, guys. Let me know what it is. Because we have to end the episode and they still haven't figured it out. So, let's see. This train will go all the way here. Yes, go all the way here. Yeah, carrying planks. The planks should go to this place. Oh, we lost all. Wait a minute. Ah, this one. Yeah, it's still in catchment of that one. This one is in catchment. Yeah, so if the trucks drop off uh, grain and plastic here, the, it, that should still receive it. And from here, the question is from here. Should things light up here? Wait a minute, let me do an experiment because I think I forgot about this already. If I do that... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really light up. The, 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 the bus stops connected to it, the truck stops. You click the truck stop and you'll see if it's in catchment. Everything is in catchment of that establishment, so we should not have a problem. Of it being disconnected maybe it just takes a bit maybe it just takes a bit of time okay maybe okay I can delete it wow terrain uh, terrain alignment collision okay 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 now I can delete it good yeah, the, the building mechanics can be a bit wonky sometimes. And right, right now, it won't allow me to build anything. Yeah, okay, there, 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 there. Good. Okay, happy. But yeah, the, the situation still hasn't fixed itself. I think we'll need a bit of uh, time to adjust that. Let me know if I missed anything, alright? Because I, I don't see it. The sawmill is still complaining, I know. Okay, so we unload stuff, load st stuff there. 
the planks didn't go anywhere wait a minute no the planks went there so that's good the thing is the problem is there is no potential here there we go that got fixed it just needed two months all right no more problem here perfect okay i'm happy and this is a problem what the heck are you guys doing why are you there why are you there uh and why are you there okay this is gonna be pretty complicated to explain why did you go when there's a signal here did I, do i have any wrong signals i have a signal here crap my mistake okay my mistake the signal should be only at that point and i think we might even need additional platforms here yeah we might need additional platforms mm, let me see let me see can we cross here have my doubts be allowed it's a bit too far-fetched okay but uh, what I'm thinking is we need uh, something like that okay maybe I can make them okay maybe I can have them go to separate platforms huh uh, we ha I have to end the episode but just stay with me for a bit all right Let's make this four tracks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this train here on the lowermost platform. Bear with me. You go here. Okay. And you connect there. Good. And the signal should be over here. Okay. Well, you, you're a single train anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Now, the thing is, I'll have to make these train. Oh, crap. Look at the backlog there. I'll have to make you guys go back. I'm sorry. So sorry about that, but I made a big boo-boo. Okay, let's, let's leave that there in the meantime. So what I want is for you guys to have different platforms. Right now you're sharing the same platform. What I mean by that is these two lines. Um, no, not that one. Uh, oh, it is that one, right? Yeah, it's that one. The food and con mats to old dash. Okay. Oh, crap. I have to make the connection here. A temporary connection. Let me make it like a, a low speed track. Wait a minute. Maybe this will be enough. No, our train still hasn't moved. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let me see how we should make this. Um, hmm. Can I make a temporary connection here? So as early as here. Too much curvature. Oh man. Okay, that works. So I can make that. Can you go? Alright, that worked. <laughs> Okay, that's good. So that means I can actually make this train go back. You can make you go back. And I can make you go back. Maybe in a bit after that train leaves. All right. Good. So now what I want is Let's uh, change this. Let's change this layout. Let's remove that thing there. I created the, the merge much later. Uh, remove that. 
have the signal right before this spit and uh, is it possible to connect that somehow the other side as well from here come on won't let us okay it's stopping okay that's good that's good but they want you to have separate platforms that's the thing so if I want you to have separate platforms maybe I should make something in the like in the most flat area the most straight area so maybe I can make something here let's see if I start from that post going to this post that works and from this post going to that post that works perfect okay so now we say signal here signal here right I think we need that and then we remove the signal in here and the one there so what happens now is we have there we go perfect so they're sharing their tracks in both directions but in their platforms when they're going to their platforms they are sharing respective things or they, they're not sharing at all they're uh, have their uh, dedicated platforms for unloading so the the main bottleneck will just be this point here the crossing here where they have to share or where they have to wait each other's turn but that should be okay that shouldn't be a big deal um stop i also need one signal here because this is two-way there okay is that right yeah so both directions here and then splitting there so here we only need one direction there okay yes perfect okay so this would cross back this should wait here i think that works overall yes going back that way going both this way all right that looks good so yeah a bit of waiting but not too long not like if the, something is unloading to need to wait the entire time now what i find weird is why is the food line the other food train on that side yeah i find that weird and our train is pretty full look at that 108 con mats 120 food it took in everything so that's a very good signal and that one i think should net us some profit although right now we're losing a lot of money because of that but gave it a bit of time and i think it will really fix our situation all right and this one is also getting fixed we're seeing con mats and food here this food so these guys should translate well into that one yeah looks good right now delivering planks production is proceeding uh, are we getting plastic yes we are maybe yes we're getting a bit of plastic do we have grain we don't have grain hey where's the grain guys where's the grain okay this guy has grain good okay good production is ongoing perfect that i think worked out pretty well all right now we are getting still backlog here so we might hmm, we might need to split them as early as at this point i'm not sure if that will help but we will see so the good thing here is this train will go to that platform this train will go to a different platform so there will be minimal waiting at least on that end yeah i think it will work let's give it a bit of time right but anyway that's going to be it for now uh very long episode sorry about that guys but hopefully you enjoyed i think we made a bit of progress and i think this should net us some profits finally from the freight line because usually freight trains are the most profitable or uh, almost as profitable as passenger trains but in our case right now not really but yeah this one is full perfect 
no stops whatsoever, just going straight through. So that should mean less delays. All right? Now we're not really clearing up the backlog yet, or we actually we actually have. Wow, that was quick. Or maybe we just lost the demands there because we reset the because we reset the the, the layout. But we'll see, we'll see, alright? Anyway, thank you for watching guys. That's gonna be it for now. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. We'll go and we're going to make this work. We're going to make this work. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.